right, all you filthy peasants worth of jabronis. It's that tall glass of 1942, you already know. The prince of the yay area. I'm over here at Taqueria La Jolla in the V. That's right, where my throne sits. I'm over here with Big Big Taco Juicy C now. Honey, man. Bruh, we saw yesterday, Journey Fatu, he grabbed a couple of them burritos. Believe it, he smacked it. It was not a pretty sight, but it did. It's kind of scary. Kind of like watching Jaws. <laughs> now, now Big Juicy, not only is he going to do the Big Burrito Challenge too, he's also getting that big torta. <laughs> Winner of the Young Lions Cup, MLW Superstar. What? Can he handle it? We will check back in. Come on now. We will check back in. We're going to be high big as fuck. Big Juicy, too. you good ready for that first bite, motherfucker? Come on. Come on, let's see what it is. We got this from La Jolla out here in Vallejo, California. In the V. That's right, baby. Oh, wait, come on now. West Vallejo, you already know what it is, baby. The prince is old, the neighborhood. Look at that. Look at that big ass motherfucker, that monstrosity. They cut them in two for me, bro. You sure that's not just two burritos and they just cut the tips off? They probably did. Man, just gave a quick circumcision. Fucking La Jolla. Oh. Come on now. Uh, man, what'd you get? What'd you get? Bro, I got a, a La Jolla Super Burrito with carne asada and shrimp. Um, and you said you, you got one yesterday. You still working on that one? Oh, man, fuck food. that. That motherfucker. It was, I was Ray Mysterio. That thing was the big show. I couldn't hang. And then Journey clapped that suck and two spam with subies. What the fuck do you guys do, man? All right, man. Here we go, baby. Something like out of a scene from Jaws, bro. Bro. Damn. I just want you to see how big that burrito was. My bite didn't do nothing to it. No, it didn't. It didn't even look like you took a bite. Damn. Well, since we're all that, man, quick question for you. What's up, bro? Since, like... The burrito got you a little bit in awe. Has there ever been a match that has got you in awe? Like one that, like, right before you go in, you look at it like you looked at that burrito? Oh, man. Um, you know what? Recently, I think like two days ago, I was in awe because I wrestled my first former WWE wrestler. I wrestled Brian Kendrick. On Friday, and I was in awe. I was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> I, was like, I wasn't even supposed to be here, but yeah. And Brian Kendrick, um, but a match that I've seen, like, what you mean, like a match I've wrestled or a match that you've like, wrestled? Yeah, so because I mean, Brian Kendrick's a good one. You also had Schlag. I think, I think the one that like was in awe was uh, with me and Eric Ryan at XPW. XPW. That was like my first ever death match, like, um, like death match. That yeah, you know what I'm saying. So going into that it was like I, you know what like you know when they announced it I was like cool like hell yeah I got it and then like it got down to a week and I was like alright bro we, we almost there bro and then the, the, on our way when me and you was driving yeah, down yeah. I was just like fuck bro and you kept asking me like how you doing motherfucker how you doing I'm like bro I'm good and I, I was like but I really I was just fucking nervous and then we fucking woke up went and got sushi and we pulled up to the fucking venue. Oh, shit. Oh, you good? Keep going. Keep going. We pulled up to the venue. A bunch of weed just fell. It's all right. We Damn. still got a lot more. But, <laughs> but pulled up to the venue, bro. And when I seen the XPW sign and I seen the, how everything was set up, I was like, this, this G, G out here fucking up. The Prince is fucking up. A little bit. Little bit a little bit. But it's all right. Bit. It's all right. But XPW, California. King of the Deathmatch Tournament. My first deathmatch and my first deathmatch tournament at that against Eric Ryan. That was the one that was really just like in awe. Like, that was a crazy one for me, bro. What about the one, uh, the time it was you and Jacob Fatu versus uh, the Briscoes? Tell me about that. Ha! <laughs> that one, you already know how I was feeling, bro. That one was crazy. Hey. The whole ride home. Mind you, I'm co-pilot. G is driving, bro. He's like, hey, bro, keep me up. Just play some music. Bro, maybe like two hours into the drive, bro, I start watching Briscoe Brothers fucking matches. Just trying to study up on him. Bro, the whole time, bro. 
had my match with them, and I was just like, yo, I was really out there with the Bristol. Because you know how we get down, me and Jacob. Bell rang, bro. We started fucking around with the whole, bro. And then we started fucking up the whole venue, bro. Match one of Shot Caller Weekend for GCW. We was in there. Starboy's little ass started hitting me with the motherfucking crutch. That shit hurt. Starboy's mom got hands. You know that. Yeah, right. right. She used to be she a boxer. Fight. She can fight, man. So, um, but yeah, that was a weekend. That was one of the biggest weekend for Hall of Famers I've ever got to work. True, so. true. Ah, oh, look at him digging mm. in. Five minutes in so far. You still haven't even clapped the first half. I'm out there. I'm almost there though. I'm almost there. So how was it, man? You get you you're signed to MLW, bro. How was it when you got the news that they wanted to fuck with you? I mean, that had to be life changing in and of itself. Oh, absolutely, bro. Um, just seeing that a company wanted to sign me, that a company really wanted to to work with me, that was crazy in itself. Chata from La Jolla's fire as well. Um, that was crazy in itself because you know what? I mean, it's known. Like, I was I went out to do a WWE tryout. You know, I was in talks with them. AEW never ever looked my way. So, for MLW to pull the trigger and be like, "Hey, bro, let's pick him up, give him my contract, work with him, and see how he grows," like that means that, that means a lot to me because that's the only company to ever pull the trigger. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, for I'm gonna give it to him. I'm, I'm gonna give him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna work as hard as I can for him, man. I promise that. Dope. That's what I'm talking about. Mm. <laughs> you yeah. in a euphoric kind of state right now, boy. I can't even talk, bro. <laughs> so you know, you always get that stereotypical asshole who's gonna say, "Man, how much do you eat a day? How much?" I mean, I ain't gonna ask that because I eat a lot myself. Hell, I've tried keeping up with your dumb ass. Big mistake on both sides. Mm -hmm. What is your go-to meal before a match? Like the day of a match, before a match? And don't tell me you don't eat before a match, motherfucker. Because I know for a full fucking fact that's, that would be a lie. We had sushi for a match. Remember that? Yeah, we did. Before the XPW match, Before man. the XPW, this Damn. motherfucker went Yokozuna on my ass. We went fucking eat some sushi and shit. It was cool. Um, Man. Smoke a blunt for Absol sure. Absolutely. Any show day I wake up... Blunt first, smoking. You know how we do it. Blunt first. Then, you know, it depends. You know, like, I'll usually skip breakfast and then get straight to lunch. But lunch would be, lunch would be like a burger or like Taco Bell or something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, But a go-to, in and out. In and out. In and out. That four by four with whole grilled onions. Get you some animal fries with that, with the extra large lemon up. Right. You know, in and out got an extra large. Cup. Yeah, and that shit is huge. It's like that big. It's huge. It's uh, almost the size of this burrito. For man. real, it really is. Or oh, what about that burger we got at Athens Burgers in Dublin? Mm. Oh, see, see, see. Oh no, it's like he just got caught cheating on his wife right now. He's like, hey, bro, you can't say that while I'm doing this. So calm down. All right, they. Oh my goodness. They got this pastrami burger over there. That shit. That shit is so good, bro. Like, you take a bite of it, and you're in another world, bro. You're in another world for the next 10 minutes. Uh, uh, he said the magic word. He said the magic word. <laughs> a whole new world. Here you go, sir. We're going to check back in with you in a second. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Let me just Shrooms. take these off camera. Take what? It's just vitamins. Mm -hmm. That was a lot of vitamins. That was a lot of vitamins. A lot. It's all right, man. We're here. Oh, damn it. So you were saying? Fuck what we were talking about. What oh, up with talk. all y'all worthless jabronis and filthy peasants out there? Y'all already know who it is. It's that tall glass of 1942, The Prince. I'm here with my boy, MLW's own Lion Cup winner 2001, Big Toco Juicy fucking Finau. What's He's that? here, bruh. And 
Tell them what you got, bro. Tell them what's up. Bro, Tell them why we I here. I don't know if y'all can see this, bro, but look at this. Look at this. You think the burrito ends right here. Look at, look at when I strip off the underwear off of this shit. Look at that. This comparison to my arm. Elbow, whole fingers right here. Look at that. I ain't never seen a burrito this big in my life. Man, well, it's a great sunny day, bro. We got some weed, tequila. Weed. It's a beautiful sunny day in, sun, in fucking Northern California, bro. bro. The sun is out. Come on, now. Can't ask for a better day. That's right, baby. Big taco. All right. The, the quick game. Yeah. I'm going to start naming off names of some random ass people. Random ass stuff. Don't worry. We got some more right here already. Oh, oh okay. All right. And then just say the first thing that comes to mind. All right. I'm going to say anything, all right? all right? First things first. Um, Jimmy Lloyd. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Serza. Oh, revolution. All right, uh, Fab. Paul. <laughs> Journey Fatu. Wow. Butt plugs. What? <laughs> Bartman. <sighs> um, Tonga Kid. What the fuck? Uh, Haku. Tonga. All right, Tama Tonga. Hello, Tonga. All right, um, Fale. Cool. Um, nipple piercings. Ah. Ah. So you big motherfuckers, we are back. <laughs> we are only halfway done with this shit. It's like seeing a freaking hippo eat an alligator. Like, like. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. It's like seeing a slow motion car accident, but in a good way. <laughs> I can't say shit. I killed one, almost, kind of. No, he didn't. Fuck you, here. <sighs> so what? What's been the best crowd so far that you've got to wrestle in front of? That's a big crowd. That's crazy. Mm. Um, that's going to be a tie. It's a tie between GCW, the Hammerstein. Oh. And yesterday at the FAP Center with me and Frost. That was crazy. I'm telling you, bro, we really had them. Like, bro, my theme song now, bro? Yeah, what the fuck? We're not gonna tell you what my theme song. Hell is. no, we ain't. All I gotta say is like the day you come down, skipping down that shit. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna hit the ground cracking up. Anyway, that's just so over, bro. It is. I don't know what? why. And you stole my beer, you big motherfucker. I thought you were giving it to me. Hey. And you pushed me out the way, man. Not cool. Cause I wanna see you, bro. I wanna see your mom, bro. Okay, come on, man. If you. If your mom is sitting right there, bro, I'm not going to say hi to you, bro. I'm bypassing you. I'm going to say hi to your mom. Say hello. How you doing? And I'm going to make my way out. Fuck you. This horchata is brought to you by Hot Tag. That's right, baby. Hot your Tag. Your body is hurting. And you're lurking. And you need that squirting. And you need that. Handle Hot Tag. Give it up. Uh. Oh yeah, here we all good, baby. Two sprays, three sprays. <sighs> You'll feel fine or high. I don't know. That was a shit promo, but <laughs> Atkins burgers. Atkins burgers. So they got this pastrami burger there, and let me mind you, we eat this every time. Every time G is a driver to California to LA. We stop at Athens Burgers and we fucking, we destroy a burger or two over there. Yeah, because if we don't, my mom's going to kill me. Yeah, you know, we all, we pull up on mom's and, and drop her off some lunch. Yeah, mom, so. you can at least say thank you once in a while. <laughs> I'm just saying, damn. 
But we be out there. They got this pastrami burger. And what did it come with? It comes with. Uh, it was pastrami with the burger, obviously. Mm -hmm. It came with fries, and I think we got beer instead of regular yeah, drinks. Yeah, got beer. I I think I changed the fries to like what gyro fries, or gyro like, fries, or what? garlic fries, garlic fries, yeah, yeah. something like that. Along or chili those cheese lines. fries, something like that. Oh, they were they were fire. They were good as they were good as shit. And um, what was it? The next the second time we went, we took Midas with us, and that was on our way up to GCW, and um. That was the first time I ever got recognized by a fan. That yeah. was epic. That was, that was epic as fuck, man. That was the first time I ever got recognized by a fan. Uh, and at that time, I got me uh, I got me a pastrami burger. <laughs> two, didn't you? I got two. Oh, that's right. I got two of them. I got two pastrami burgers. Knocked them, knocked them things back before we drove. But it was crazy because me and brother was just sitting out there. We was eating and stuff. And then... All of a sudden, I hear, hey, are you a wrestler? I'm like, I'm shocked, bruh. My mind, you ain't nobody ever pulled up on me. <laughs> that was the first, bruh. The first time ever somebody ever pulled up on me. Bro, I'm seeing that. I'm just shocked. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, I am a wrestler. I, was like, so I knew it. I knew you were a wrestler, this and that. And I was just like, I was like, yo. And like, she was just shaking my hand. Oh. Um, and she was like, yeah, man, I seen you at uh, Hood Slam, at GCW. Mind you, we're in Dublin. We're in Dublin. Ne I ain't never wrestled in Dublin in my life. For those of you that don't know Dublin, Dublin is a suburban area out here. Yes. In the Bay. It's very, very, um, hello, Keith. Hello, Jackson. Kind of area. <laughs> uh, that's all I'll leave it at. Like, you motherfuckers wear ties just to go to the grocery store. So that's what it is. Dublin. Dublin, California. Here at Athens Burger, Game Burgers, and some random person comes up to me and just like they recognize me. And they're like, I knew it. I seen you wrestle on, I seen you live wrestle at uh, Hood Swim, and I seen you at GCW. And like they're like marking out. And I can hear her like, um, she's like, I'm shaking right now. She's like, I'm shaking. And I'm like, What's up? You want to get a picture? Oh, like, they pop. You're like, Oh, yeah. And I'm like, Come on, let's get a picture. And we took the picture and like, well, we should have. What I should have done was like, you know, because they went and sat down and ate. I should have came, you know, invited them to come eat with us and stuff. But um, but yeah, it was crazy, you know, because then we could, over, I could uh, just overhear them talking like, that's so crazy. Like we, I just met him. Like I'm like shaking right now. Like I didn't know. Like my, this is the first time I, I'm trying not to mark out for myself. I'm like in myself. I'm like, oh shit, I done made it. I done made it, bro. This motherfucker was acting that way the whole car ride bro, down the whole there, bro. Car ride, bro. We even got there right before GCW. You were saying all that. So you know me, like that. That don't happen often. So when it happened, it was it was crazy. It was, it was that was one of like the that was one a, of that the was best a, moments. In my it career. touched you right there. It made my nipples hard. I bet it did. <laughs> If you don't know that saying, it's this motherfucker back here. Oh, I have no idea what he's talking about. He's a bold faced liar. <laughs> hey, sir, you got to make this Mexican meal uber Mexican. I don't have a lot on functioning lawnmower at the moment because I'm not that Mexican. That's too stereotypical. But what I do have is a fine bottle of tequila right there in front of you and two shot glasses. So what you trying to do? Let's do it. Pour it out there, sir. As you're pouring that, question for you. What is like the best drunk road store you got? Shit. Because I heard a couple with like the punching machine, your shirt off. Okay, that's all I'm going to leave that out. I, if you, if we've partied. That means I'm so comfortable to be lit. Oh, you? You and believe me, when he says comfortable, he means comfortable. Comfortable. I'll be coming this week. Bro, I don't know why you... See, man, it's so damn hot out here. I took my shirt off. When we went to... um, Where were we the first time? And we had to share a bed. Oh, my goodness. We were in L.A., shared a bed with a uh, very shroomed-out GCW person. We will not say any names. And this motherfucker right here kept reaching over. Ah, oh, you smell that? It's not 1942, but it's good enough to serve Big Juicy. Because he ain't as good as the Prince. He's better. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, shit, this is dangerous. 
Woo! He's having a giant ass burrito. I don't know, bro. I feel like I'm. And you and you're gonna wrestle in Mexico soon, right? Yeah, bro. Do you already know who or not yet? Not yet. That sucks. You look at that. We'll just hold it right here because I don't want nobody saying nothing. Pour yourself one. Don't worry, we'll take it. We'll take it. Cheers. That made my nipples hell hard. All right, so what's up? Tell us a funny story when, uh, like, you being on the road doing something. Shit, bro. <laughs> I can tell you the first time I went to Atlantic City. <laughs> All right, now, since you put down the nacho daddy, why don't you hurry up and roll up a fatty? Motherfucker, you. Please, nah, damn, I'm sorry. Damn, I can't roll. <laughs> Why you gotta make fun of me, bro? I was born this way. Oh. I was born this way, sir. <laughs> Don't make fun of me. I have a, I'm, I have a handicap in this sense. But guess what? That makes me the captain now. I'm the one that leads the show if I'm rolling. All right, fine. <laughs> cool. Big juicy. All right. Let's play. Let's play a quick okay, game, motherfucker. What? What did you just say to me? No, no, no. Hell no. That is not what he said. This man put down the whole thing and was like, I'm getting full. I have never, in my, since I've known this man, heard him say those words. Say that. Your mama would be ashamed, bro. Say that. I, no. For some weird reason, my mama would probably blame me. God damn, mom. <laughs> Why you gotta be so mean? Fuck Leo. <laughs> like, check. Oh, man. You bit. You just nose deep in that sucker. <laughs> you pretending it's your favorite porn star and just digging in? Don't worry. This is not connected to any other part of the interview. I'm not going to mention any organizations here for liability reasons or purposes. So that way this <laughs> man is not hurt. That being said. Bro, what the fuck, man? That's like, oh, fuck. Don't lie. Are you so full that you feel like your belly button's about to burst? Nope. I've been there. I don't know what you're talking about, bro. Me, I just need some water, bro. We got water. Go ahead, pour me up. All right. Pour well, I pour you up some water. Yeah, pour me up some tequila. Oh shit. All right. There you go. So, man, you've been wanting to do these food challenges for a minute and doing a little see, fun right, stuff. So the thing about the food challenge. Right. Well, hold on. The food, like, it's either timed or not. Yeah. But here's the big difference. You cannot finish that. Who? You are. Look at you. How long has it been? It's been an hour since we sat down. No. What do you mean? I'm going to finish it. Look how far I've come, bro. If, look. Okay. I'm taking my time. I'm drinking tequila. I'm smoking blunt on the side. If I had to eat this whole thing whole all the way through timed i guarantee you man i can bust this bitch down in five minutes if you don't you have to stand on the corner of sonoma boulevard in vallejo in your boxer shorts that's all and then you got to get picked up as a hooker i'm expensive Fuck it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it. We saw the size of the burrito. This man was barely able to finish no, it. I'm not hey, 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 It took him almost an hour to finish. So I'll bet him it won't. he can't finish it in 20 minutes. I like it, bro. All right. So the it's challenge been has been laid. Do you want to try doing it again today? <laughs> you wanna... <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We'll probably try for like later this week or something. Maybe for right before that big road trip. No. Maybe next week. <laughs> it's like I gotta let this one process. No. After MOW, I'm at MOW next week. 
<laughs> All right, after MLW. Two weeks. Two weeks. He's going to get ready for this big burrito. All right, this is the promo. Will he do it? It's like watching a T-Rex devour <laughs> like a, a raptor or something. <laughs> or a stegosaurus. And this man still got a side of chips. What the fuck? <laughs> Are you just like, is it pride now? Now that to finish it, you're like, I'm going to do this. Fuck it. I'm a man. Fucking pride. <laughs> I'm a man. <laughs> It'd be like that. Mama Your mask is... Raise no bitch. Oh, God. Lift the foil, sir. No cheating. That looks like a lot of fucking food to me. <laughs> Fuck you. Ah, did the burrito win? No. Oh, bro, is it like Rocky? Did the did, did the big unstoppable monster defeat the the people's champion? Nope. I think it did. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my can he do it? Ladies and gentlemen, he still has another torta left. And we have a shit ton of weed. That wasn't part of the challenge. That was a that's after. That's in case he gets hungry again. Mm -hmm. I'll eat that in two weeks. Lift the foil. Alright. Well, big juicy. Fuck you. That shit must have hurt. Fuck you. Oh my goodness, how do you feel? Kids don't fall into peer pressure. Fuck this guy. <laughs> oh man. Uh, I know you must be full. Now time to wash it down with some tequila. Pour yeah. it out. I need some water. Oh, that was an anti climatic. <laughs> I was over for like a big. And all I got was that. I bet that's how the ladies feel every time you hook up with them, huh? They're expecting. And then they get. Hello. All right, man. Time to pour out the tequila. Not down, bro. I don't think I can ever eat a fucking burrito. Again. Well, you better. You got two, two weeks, weeks, bro. In two weeks will be the last time I eat burrito. <sighs> Big Juicy took on La Jolla burrito by himself. Fucking pride. Pride don't pay my bills. Brewing, bro. Mm. Uh, let's see. Oh, shit. Um, the Briscoes. GCW. Uh, Nick Gage. MDK. Sl all fucking day. Slack. Fuck. <laughs> Eric Ryan. Fork. <laughs> Fork. Um. Yellow penguins. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't know. Let's see. Marco Mayor. Lava Jack. Um, Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, Vinny Massaro. Uh, let's see. Lover Boy Leo. Penguins. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> baby. <laughs> All right, who were the four guys again? Four guys was ACH, Alex Kane, Puma King, and fucking Myron Reed, bro. And so <laughs> that was my debuting show. So that was my first match. So for me to be out there like that with them, 
That's dope. Nice. I knew it was for the belt, bro. I knew it was for the lip. Come on, bro. Nice, nice. All right. Um, so you're a tag team with Jacob Fatu and oh, who Lance Nye, right? You guys call yourself the South Pacific Savages? Nah, me and uh, me in MLW. Yeah, MLW is me, Lance on the White, and Jacob, and we call ourselves the SWAT team. Oh, okay, the SWAT team. Yeah, so someone's with a tongue in. Oh, uh, okay, I like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Someone's with. How'd you guys come up with that? I don't know who came up with it, <laughs> but I think you know what I think it was Pollo Del Mar. You know what I think you might be right because I think she has said it on Twitter, so. You know, and then they threw it up there and stuff. So. Samoans with a tongue in. Yeah. Kind of like a little uh, wink back to the Samoan SWAT team. Back yeah, a little in. wink back to the Samoan SWAT team. I mean, we wouldn't be technical or, or, or you know, like the, our name name in MOW is uh, the Samoan SWAT team. But um, but we just go by the SWAT team just because, it's, it's, you know what I'm saying, like we're a new generation. Yeah. Era of that. So... Plus, you know, it's easier just Samoans with a tongue in, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Okay. I like it. I mean, you you signed to MLW, you get put into this faction, you have your debut. I mean, you have your debut first, then you get put into this faction. Dope, everything. Um, what, what 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 do you see? Like, what what's, what's your goals right now, man? Oh, well, my goal is that MLW Heavyweight Championship, to be honest with you. So, if, uh, oh, okay. I mean, because, you know, that's where I'm signed to, you know what I'm saying? So, I feel like wherever you're assigned to, whatever the highest prize in that business is, I think that should be the number one priority. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, like, I have two years and might have three years to, you know, make that come true. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just keep working towards it. But I think my biggest one is just trying to better myself. Oh, hell no. That is just too corny, too boring, man. All right, we'll come back when your balls drop. Bruh. Show them how much damage you've done so far. Show the people. My man. My man is a serious person here. When he says he... Oh, bruh. That's a big difference from the last time we was on record. What the fuck, man? <laughs> Come on. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, let's see. You got to treat yourself, man. I feel it. What did you, how did you celebrate when you finally got your MLW contract? I smoked the blunt. When I signed it, you know, when you, you know what I'm saying? When I signed it and sent it and emailed it over. I already had a blunt rolled up. I went, went right to the back patio, spiked that hell up. That's how I did it. Hell yeah. I like it. All right, man. Uh, how'd you feel when you hit your first, when you got your first MLW match, like when you finally wrestled? Because it was in a fatal four way, right? Yeah. It was, uh. Was it for me? Yeah. Yeah, it was. It was me, Puma King. ACH, Alex Kang, Midas fucking uh, Reed. Midas Reed. <laughs> hey, you got to delete this part, bro. All right, man. I'm trying to pour out the shot. Stop cleaning up, bro. That's that's just getting like a little weird. Why? Because you fucking like it? Fucking weirdo. Yeah, I like the fact that you fucking killed a burrito like an anaconda does a big bison. And then you're about to pour a shot, which I've been waiting for now for quite some time there, sir. Who got the tequila bottle, me or you? All right, all right. Getting a little cute there because you finished a big badass burrito. Isn't like more than half of yours is still in your house? Just chilling? Fuck you, man, all right? And fuck the lover boy. This fucking guy's like, oh yeah, I'll get food with you when we go. Fuck, I'm gonna go over there and get a fucking burrito by myself. Bro, the guy thought the torta was mine. You want the turtle? Hell no, nah, I don't want the turtle. Fuck that. I'm still full. Hey, you're just a full ass fool. You know what they say, bruh? The higher the sock, 
Your but, socks are not high, fool. I don't have any socks. Your socks are never high. <laughs> you got fucking ankle socks on. You know me, nigga? I'm you got no fucking, socks on. I either go no socks or fucking high socks, fool. This guy's more Mexican than me, vato. He's like Miklo, but Chocomil. If you guys don't know what reference that was, do not call it. It's from a movie. Look it up, motherfuckers. It's a very old movie. Called Blood In, Blood Out. You ever seen that movie, Juicy? Oh, man, my bad. I forgot. He's from Ontario, California. In the I-E. Fucking... That was my shit, bro. I've always... Damn, can, you think you can really make a fucking... A pick out of fucking soap? No, nah, the pick was a mold. Oh, the mold? Yeah, you just press it. Yeah, he did that, and then that's what they used to carve it to make the shit to carve out of the wood. Thank you, sir. What about when Brad took it to the back, licked his finger, and stabbed his ass? <laughs> that that was some. Brad. <sighs> what about when they fucking uh, they picked him up and they threw him on the fucking uh, what is it the uh, fire extinguisher thing? Oh, Cruz, when they broke his back. They broke his back. And then he got addicted to heroin for 10 years. Uh, RP. Well, was, it, was their little brother that passed away? Yeah, because he OD'd because the little brother took the heroin. He tried it. He did too much. Well, come on, bastard. All right. Wash it down with some tequila. Oh, shit. <laughs> yep. After drinking a big ass burrito, tequila probably wasn't the best idea. Absolutely not. Question for you, man. How do you feel in the political climate nowadays as it as is to portray a stereotype to be such a negative influence on the next generation coming up? And yet in, in pro wrestling, Polynesians are usually predominantly uh, depicted as savages. Do you find that offensive at all? Ne next question. Whatever, whatever allows the Polynesians to make their money. Is that you say that because you're a savage? Shit. All right. Anyways, I don't give a fuck, bro. When are you gonna put somebody <laughs> through a glass table? Fuck all that shit. That just sounded like some weird stuff. Yeah, yeah I want to see the next time you put somebody through a glass table. I can put you through a glass table right now. I think I gotta go. My mom's calling. <laughs> Thank you.